Hey, this is Professor Perez. Today, we are going to look at two properties of addition. But before we get started, we need to get out our student of the semester, Charlie. He better be ready to go. Hey, Charlie, you ready to go? Yeah, you better be right there. Two plus three. Let's perform this addition on a number line. Let's enter two and let's add three. What do we get, Charlie? Five. Very nice. Okay, now let's do three plus two. Let's first enter a three, add the two, and we get five. Very nice. Now notice, Charlie, two plus three is the same as three plus two. Well, this is true because of the commutative property for addition. And this states that a plus b is the same as b plus a. This means if you have two numbers being added, you can add them in any order. Now notice 3 plus 2 was 5, and that means that 2 plus 3 has to be 5. Well, where this property will become useful is when we start talking about adding negative numbers, like 7 plus a negative 3. By the commutative property, we can switch the order and change it to negative 3 plus 7. Now let's do negative 3 plus 7 on the number line. And notice we get 4. So this is telling us that 7 plus a negative 3 is the exact same as 7 subtract 3, and they both equal 4. Okay, Charlie, let's try this problem. 2 plus 3 plus 4. Let's enter 2, add 3 more, which gives us 5, and add 4 more, and that gives us 9, right? Look at this problem. We have parentheses around the 2 plus 3. That means we're going to add the 2 plus 3 first and then add the 4. So let's add the 2 and the 3, which gives us 5. So let's write down 5, bring down our work, and let's add 4 more. And of course, we get 9. There you go. Okay, try to look at this one. 2 plus, in parentheses, 3 plus 4. Now we must perform the operation within the parentheses first. So let's add the 3 and the 4, and that gives us 7. So let's bring down our work, and to this we have to add 2. So let's go in and add the 2, and notice we get 9 again. So the result was the same, regardless if we added the first two numbers first, or we added the second two numbers first, right? We both got 9. And this works because of the associative property for addition, which basically says if you have three numbers being added, if you add the first two numbers first and then add the third, you will get the same result as adding the last two numbers and then going back and adding the first number. So basically, with the associative property and commutative properties working together, it's telling us that if you have numbers and they're all being added together, you can basically add in any order you want. Notice, 2 plus 3 plus 4 will be the same as 4 plus 2 plus 3, which will give us 9, any way you look at it. So, this technique will be very useful for us when we start adding lots and lots of numbers together. We're going to develop a Kung Fu technique. You'll see that very soon. But anyway, be sure you do your homework and come back and see us soon.